here are four apps that I think are really good to have at the start of a new school year on a Mac. Um, for those of you who do presentations on your Mac, uh, sometimes you'll bring up um, a PowerPoint with directions on it, and you'll want that slide to stay on the screen for 30 to 40 minutes while students follow directions from that slide. Um, and a lot of times your, your screen will fall asleep because you've left it alone for too long and you have to go back and tap it to wake it up. Um, this little app up here called Caffeine solves that problem and it's a little coffee cup that sits in your menu bar and when you click it your screen does not fall asleep. It stays lit um, as long as the you have the coffee cup on and when you're done with your presentation and you're ready to go back to your, your screen going black after a few minutes, you just click it again and it turns off. Um, the only other way to do that is to go into your settings and tweak a few things and it takes a little bit of doing and you could forget to turn it off and then your computer will stay on all the time. So this just keeps the screen on and this lets it dim uh, as it normally would. Second app is called Drop Zone, not to be confused with Dropbox. And Drop Zone it allows you to set up a whole bunch of folders that you drop things to. So that way when your desktop gets too cluttered, <clears throat> mine's clean because I use Drop Zone, but I'm going to create a test folder here and I'm going to drag it into that Drop Zone and I can figure out which uh, of these folders I want to put it in. And then when I let go, it'll move it there. Okay, very simple. Um, the third app is called Alfred, Alfred 3 for Mac. Um, you set a key combination that's pressing down uh, more than one key on your keyboard at the same time to bring up Alfred. Control space is my key combination, but you can make your own in the settings. Control space brings up Alfred. And Alfred basically is a launcher. It can do things like launch any uh, file or any app on your computer. So if I type CH, it's going to find Chrome and I can hit enter and it's going to open Chrome. Um, so if I type in like text edit and I hit enter, it's going to open text edit. Very clean. <clears throat> Another thing that I can do, it, it can open any, any file as well. Um, but another thing that it can do is it can search the web. So I could uh, search the web for third grade math, and I can search Google, Amazon, Wikipedia, YouTube. Um, I could go down the list and have it search any one of these things. It'll pop open a new browser and search for it. Um, and if I don't want to use the down arrows, if you'll notice on the right uh, of all the text is are these command one through four, I can hit any command number one through four and it'll take me to the thing that I'm looking for. So if I wanted to search for YouTube, I could just hit command four after typing this in and go to YouTube to search for what I'm looking for. Very convenient. It can also define words. So if I'm doing, and, and I can activate it from any app, anything I'm working in, I can hit control space and do define and it already knows I'm gonna define a word, um, you know, whatever it is. And it already kind of previews it, but if you hit enter, um, <clears throat> it'll bring up your dictionary with your word in it. Very convenient. Um, it can also do uh, math problems. So if I say I have a, a class of 30 kids and I want to make four groups, uh, I can do a quick calculation to find out how many students I need to put in each group. It turns out seven and a half students. I don't know where you're going to get that half student from, but uh, you will. And you notice it comes up automatically, but if I hit enter, it copies the answer to the clipboard, making it easy to paste it into an application. So Alfred can do a great number of things. The thing that I really love that it does, and I think this is only available if you purchase the power pack, but it's so useful. Um, option command C, which is what I've set this to be. Option command C brings up a list of all the things that you've recently copied to your clipboard. So this text is what I recently copied, but let's bring in a new browser window and let's say that I copy this headline okay now it's if I do command V it's gonna paste this command line this this headline I just copied if I do option control C it shows me that that's the last thing that I copied but I copied all these other things too before it so this is really great because sometimes you'll be copying and pasting and you want to get the thing that you copied like five copies ago so this saves up to 99 of those copies and I usually end up using the first you know six or seven but now if I am typing something and I want to bring up something I copied like five copies ago I do option control command C and then if I want to copy the thing in the fourth position command four I can either go down and hit enter or from here I can just do command four and it pops in 
whatever I had copied into that snippet. Um, the last app is up here. It's a Google add-on called Print Friendly and PDF. Um, <clears throat> and basically what this does is it takes a web, a web page that has, you know, at the bottom it has some ads and a menu, but it's got this text. And say you want students to read that text. All you do is you click that button and it strips out all the unimportant stuff. So you have a very concise article um, in one click. You don't have to copy it into a word, a word document or anything like that. And it even lets you delete certain sections from the article. Like if this isn't relevant information for the assignment, you can just delete it like that. Um, very, very useful applications. And I hope that they help in the new school year.